need to decide what kind of king you are going to be. Don't freeze. I never freeze. Black Panther has made it to the big screen and is expected to break records this weekend. Hello, I'm Jade Balexa. And I'm Paulo Salazar. According to Disney, ABC's parent company, yesterday's premiere showings of the film brought in more than $20 million at the box office. The film has been largely anticipated by the African-American community throughout the country. WTXL's Jennifer Myers is at the Challenger Learning Center where this groundbreaking film has already sold out. And Jennifer, what more can you tell us about this newest Marvel movie. Paulo, much like Marvel's other movies, the Black Panther actually started as um, a comic book series that was written back in the 1960s, back when the African American community was fighting for their civil rights. Now, the Black Panther was the first black superhero and became an expression of Afrofuturism, which is similar to science fiction, but it's steeped in African traditions and black identity. Now, the Black Panther is a fictitious character, but co-creators Stan Lee and Jack Kirby tackled real-life challenges faced by the African-American community. The struggles have been updated for modern times, but they are a part of this movie. Well, I think it is going to open the eyes to a lot of people who, in America, there's a lot of people feel like we've made a lot of social progress over the last 40, 50 years, and that we're good now. But the reality is we need to keep making more social progress. We don't mind. The film isn't just opening eyes to social injustice in our country. It's bringing a sense of pride to the African-American community. For the first time ever, there's a predominantly black cast starring in a superhero movie directed by an African-American. For the older generation, this has been a long time coming. When they're able to go and see a movie where all of the characters look like them, it certainly uh, has them to believe that they definitely can grow up and be anything they want to be. They can do anything they want to do. And to have that positive role model to look up to. I have been told that the Black Panther is amazing and it's the perfect Marvel blend of seriousness and that comic relief that we've all come to expect. Theaters are likely to be packed. Now, here at the Challenger Learning Center, the 7 p.m. show has sold out and managers tell me that they're expecting the 945 show to also sell all 245 seats. Uh, so, until then, in Tallahassee, Jennifer Myers, WTXL ABC. 27.